Welcome back, Sethling here. Today I'm going to show you a type of secret entrance that you can do using a new feature of carpet in the 13W24B snapshot. So I've got some items in my inventory. I'm going to toss one onto the shield here, uh, one onto the eye, and the other eye, and then one onto the hat, and that will open the secret entrance. Let me do that one more time, and I'll point out some things. Uh, so I toss it onto this spot on the shield, and you'll notice the item disappears. Uh, similarly, disappears, disappears. It's actually going into a hopper. And these are carpet, even though they look like wool. They're, they're actually layers of carpet. Now if I come over and look underneath, we can see I've got several layers of carpet. Basically a new feature with carpet in the 13W24B snapshot is that it can be placed on top of non-solid blocks. Now I don't know if this is going to be permanent, but I think it's pretty cool, so I hope it is. Uh, so I've got some redstone in here. I've got another copy of it over here so that you can kind of see this just has all the carpet removed, um, but you can see basically the hopper. So this is where the shield was, this is where the left and right eye were, and then this is where the spot in the hat was. And uh, basically all that's going on here is we have a top hopper feeding into the middle hopper. Now the middle hopper is frozen by a redstone line, and that feeds into a chest. And so when I toss an item into the hopper, it's going to feed it into the middle hopper, but the middle hopper isn't going to feed it into the chest. That will, that will uh, turn the comparator on that's outputting from that hopper, and, and I have a big AND gate between all the, all the middle hoppers. So if I toss it in here, you'll see this turns on, toss it in here, this turns on, uh, which turns off all these torches, and that's the AND gate. And then there's one last here. When, I, when this one turns on, this torch is going to turn off, and this line will turn off. There you go. Um, and then that triggers the door. Uh, and then it closes again. So why does it close? Well, first of all, let's just, let me just note, this is just a normal Jeb door. And then there's uh, just some note blocks back here playing the, uh, the sound from the secret from Zelda. Uh, so why did the door close back up? Well, here's why. Uh, when the last item got into the hopper and the AND gate turned on, I'll show you exactly what happened. When that happened, uh, well, this line turned off. Now, that line feeds with a bunch of delay back out and into all of the middle hoppers. So that's what was turning all the middle hoppers uh, off and keeping them from dispensing their items. So when I put in that last item, after that big delay, the, uh, the, the middle hoppers will be able to release their items into the chests, and that'll turn the comparators back off. So. Here we go, it turns on, there's that big delay, and then the middle hopper can start uh, putting its item back in the chest and the AND gate turns off. Uh, if you know much about redstone logic, it's pretty simple. And the trick over here is just hiding all the hoppers and everything directly underneath, uh, directly underneath that carpet. And uh, a lot of this carpet is just, you know, floating out of the carpet. It could have been on solid blocks, whatever, but uh, that's what it, just what I chose to do. So that's about it for the secret entrance using carpet. Thanks for watching.